Yo, yo, what it do? It's your boy Jay Grip. Have no fear, all about my books like it did with my brother. It's your boy Fat Man with the PH. Is that right? What it do? It's your boy Jay Grip. Have no fear, all about my books like it did with my brother. It's your boy Fat Man with the PH. And we are the Soul Bros. What you rock? Just let your soul. Feel here, aka Kicks Della Cream, aka Feel Bella Chick, cause you know we all about that chick, man. Yes, we sir. Here to sir. Soul Rose TV and let's get it. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate yes, you for sir. coming through. We are gonna get right into it, man. Uh, first, what we like to do when people come through, man? What you got on? <laughs> what you got on your feet, man? Today. I put what these. Uh, what you got on? Let me get these up. These. Okay, this came from KDC. Kentucky <laughs> dunks that I got from my boy. Feel hey, right here. Check it out. Uh, like you know, you wear your shoes. What you got on, Phil? Oh, well, you know, my favorite retro one of all time. Obviously, everybody's a hype fan for ones now, but yeah, I'm a top three guy. Sad. These are my favorite, you know what I'm saying? Because I actually deliver my son in these two, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, it's just something about this Real colorway. It's just got, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You good. know what I'm saying? I deliver my son in these, so. And then, like I said, you know, just something about that colorway. Like I said, for them to combine all three of the colorways to actually make it one. Beautiful, sure. Yeah. And as y'all can hear, it's Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying? It's on the time. I wear them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Double lace, you know what I'm saying? Shoes. I put all my laces in all shoes. my ones. Got more than one lace, I'm putting them all in there. That's how I do my shit. We may have the same, but we ain't gonna wear it the same. Right. That's can you tell us why you lace your shoes like that? I just told you. We <laughs> may have the same, but we ain't gonna wear it the same. <laughs> hey, what, you, uh, what you got on? No, me. Mr. Grinch. Uh, yeah, got on these Kobe Grinch yes, things. Mr. Grinch. You already know. <laughs> so, man, the main purpose we're here for is to talk shoes. So, man, tell me a little bit about the history of you, like, how you got into shoes. Like, where did your love for shoes come from? I mean, it started working in retail. You know what I'm saying? My first job was at Finish Line when I was 16. You know what I'm saying? So, it started from there, and, I mean, it just grew. You know what I'm saying? Just just the love for the shoes, you know what I'm saying? Just being around sneakers all the time, you know, so. That's cool, man. That's, that's, you know, I feel like everybody we bring on really got a different story, but I feel like most people, you know, started working in shoe stores. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of, a yeah, lot of, that's what came from. when we were kids, it was so many times like, niggas just wanted like, hey, that's what I want to do. I want to work in the shoe store. But then you start applying for jobs at 16. It's like, you got to know somebody to work in the shoe store. Okay, just like, yeah. I'm about to get in the shoe store. It ain't what, by what you know, it's about who you know. But when I applied for jobs, like I said, I applied for it. I worked at Katie Mills. Like I said, I was there from when I was 16 all the way until I was like 22. Okay. And then from there, left and moved to City Gear. And I was at City Gear for about three years. And then from there, left with the shoe palace. And then from there, I was there for like six months. I'm in the retail, but I'm keeping the resale because I had gained so many clients. And knew so many people and was networking with so many different other people. Yeah. It was like me being behind this counter, it really ain't doing me no justice on board, you know, so. And like working with you, I, I could see like, you know, you had your <clears throat> select few people coming in, uh, really just picking up like, you know, re like release shoes, but really like coming in and check on, you know, making sure that you straight, checking in on, like even if it wasn't a, re a release they wanted that week, that weekend, like they still come through the market. Like sure, they Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So just, I always felt like, you know, like just watching you with that, you had a good rapport with everybody you was like dealing with. You know what I'm saying. So now, like where you are now, I could see the, the groundwork because I, I saw, I saw it. You know what I'm saying. I seen people come in, check you out, like just to say what's up. I wanna. You were supposed to be in the back busting now, boss. What you doing watching me for? Man, like, look, look. <laughs> I, I was, I was, uh, I was the. The stockroom manager. Nah, I know. That can talk to you. I know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I, I really did everything from that spot. Shout out yeah. to that boy Corey and uh, Big Floyd. Mo Why did you want to really just take that leap of faith and say, I'm finna start working retail and I'm finna resell? Like, well, what made you know that you had the, I guess, the, the right resources to where you can get what you need for your clientele? Yeah. 
and I was putting in those two weeks, I already knew this is I don't want to do retail no more. Like I said, I've gained enough knowledge. I, I didn't met enough people. And when I say that, because of the fact that when I left, I was like, even though I know I can come back, I'm not, I'm not going to put myself in a predicament to make me feel like I need to come back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I left and I put those two weeks in, you know what I'm saying? Like I just started taking everything that I knew, you know what I'm saying? And just started applying it to when I was dealing with my customers in the streets and just started making those referrals more. Cause like I said, when I was dealing with customers, they was referring their people to me. Hey, Phil, hey, my boy Phil, hey, my boy Phil get these, he get this release, he get that release. Just give yeah. me the best idea. Like, Shout out Wiz and Currency. Cause I feel like when you smoking, you had, that's when you your best ideas and your creativity juices are flowing and you can feel like you can be yourself. Remember I call, like, everybody just know me as Phil with shoes or, or flip and kick Phil. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, I got a name for what I want to do. Yeah, all the like, nicknames. <laughs> he was like, what you want to do, Phil? Flip and kick Phil. He was like, what you want to do, Phil? I was like, man, look. I said, I'm just riding. I was like, sitting here riding, jamming T.I. Top Leg Band. I was like, bro, I'm sitting here riding. I kept saying, kicks de la cream. Cream de la cream, kicks de la I was like, bro. And I kept saying it, and it just stuck with me. And I was like, I'm going to slap the DBA. I'm going to slap the LLC on it. This is my shit. I'm patting it. Shout out T.I. Trouble Man, T.I. 31. If I ever run into you, I'm thanking you for helping me come on my business name. For sure. Or you could just be on the show too, brother. You, know, you can come through. Or be so on dang. my boy Song Bros TV probably, show. Probably you know what I'm saying? But well, what's the, well, I'll say the most memorable shoe for you. Like the shoe that really got that, really just got it started for you. That started reselling for me? Nah, was, the shoe. Well, really, you can tell I mean, the resell and the shoe that, that made you fall in love with shoes. Yeah, because you got two aspects to you, you know what I'm saying, with, as far as resale and your love what for shoes. May, okay, we'll start with what made me fall in love with shoes. Mm, right. I was like maybe like six when the flu games came out. Okay. My auntie and my uncle bought them for me. And they brought them to the crib. And when I won, I remember I was walking in the food town with my T-Jones, with my mama. I have a red polo button down on my black Levi's <laughs> and my 12 and my flu games on. I'm walking in full time with my mama. It was a kid, it was three kids walking with their mama. Mm-hmm. Mama, mama, he got his shoes on. He got them on, mama. <laughs> he got them on, mama. I fell in love. Yeah. I, walked, I was walking know. with my mama. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah. I was like, damn, like, I'm like, I got something that everybody wants. And it was those black and red tennis shoes, the twelves. That's what brought me in. As far as with reselling, what made me start taking it serious, you know what I'm saying? Because I always worked the nine to five, you know what I'm saying? I always, you know what I'm saying, make sure I had a job. Before, I, when I was doing shoes and I was and I was getting them, and I was getting them on the weekend, I called it Side Hustle Saturday. Before it was Kids Della Cream, it was Side Hustle Saturday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anybody know me? The air got all the, the it was side the main, hustle Saturday before it was kicks down the cream. Hashtag my boy, my know. boy, Kick Dream Martin. No, Martin Norris. He know. Hey. He know. It was always side hustle Saturday shout before it came Shout King out to Mucci too. Shout out to Mucci Norris. Sh- yeah, Mucci Norris. Yeah, the young, yeah, the young. Mm-hmm. So that's what it was. You know what I'm saying? So before it was that, that's what it was, and it was like. The shoe that made me fall in love with the game. Drum roll. Yeah. yeah all that good Concord shit. Retro 11. 2011. Oh, I, was at, I was at Greens right. Point. Let me tell you how cold it was. Let me tell you how. Before all this resale shit happened. Before all this shit got watered down. Before all you fucking new man. resellers is out here. I like to call you re-nevers. Because us Ooh. resellers that's been here. Oh, that know how to get this hey, shit. Hey, we gon' be here. And we gon' stand strong. Which one? Which one is this? Is this one? Which one I talk to? Is this one? We gon' be here and we gon' stand strong. Believe that. You, I, I like to call you re because you never gon' get it together. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Bro. I'm sorry to throw that little salt on the grain and all that. On the, on the, but that's what it is. Hey, that's what no, bro. It's that Julio in the no. club, man. And it's definitely gon' be Bel-Air after we done. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, if you know how to maneuver and stick and move in this game, you gon' make it. Just like, shout out to my colleagues in the game. She was Houston. Instacamp, you know what I'm my saying? cousin, H-O-U-N-O, my boy Ham Kicks, 
You know what I'm saying? List goes on. Modern hype. We gonna you know what I'm saying? So how many people wanna just be driving on the resale shoes? Man, I look at it like yeah, that's yeah. why that's why, you know what I'm saying, besides StockX, you know what I'm saying, it makes it easier for people that don't have that kind of clientele that's not getting Man, I'm glad you said that. You know what I'm saying? I'm so glad you said that. Like, okay, if I can't sell it to Ricky or Rock or Jordan or fucking Malcolm or Phil, you know what I can I can sell it to StockX. StockX mm -hmm. gonna pay me. So that's how, you know what I'm saying? Which is why, oh, you a Detroit native, which is why Eminem is invested in two. He's in business. Stock X. He invested in stock. You know what I'm saying? He's smart. He know. You know what I'm saying? But you know what, what, what I feel like you, because you just mentioned uh, shoes and them, you know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all are like a, a in-person stock X. Because y'all will go out and grab these shoes from people and people can't come to y'all and be like, no way. It's no way. Y'all can even get people shoes earlier on occasion when, 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 when need be. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why go online to order when I can go online? I can either meet this person. This person can meet me. Yeah. So like, I, I respect what y'all been doing because I, I've, you know, that's the first three episodes besides me and him. You know what I'm saying? I, I've seen y'all grab shoes for people, be able to get these shoes. Like I've had. Females want shoes for the kids. Y'all travel, y'all make it happen. Y'all go grab it. Like, like y'all really putting it in like the footwork. Not doing that. I've seen people. They want to sit at home and buy. Yeah. They want to sit All on the right. computer. They want to send maybe like 30, 40 people your way. You know what I'm saying? Just off of like somebody asking me when I was working in shoe stores, like, hey, yo, can I, can you, can you look out for me on this? Nah, I really can't. You know, I got rules, I got, I got stipulations, but then I got somebody that's going to be able to. Like he got you. I got somebody to come look Yeah, at. he got you. He can either drive to you or you can go meet you. That was before we pulled up the Houston Barbershop, by the way. You know what I'm One, saying? 1203 We checked it out. We checked it out. We, we was in the shop and we, now we, we located. Uh, now, now, we're talking, now we're talking shop. You yeah. know? Well, if you had to be buried with three mm -hmm. shoes, mm -hmm. what shoes you going to be buried with, man? Like, what shoes you taking down there with you when you got to go to the upper room? The upper room. You already know. Yeah. <laughs> you stupid. But man, if God was to call me home, it's it's my time to go. If, if he's allowing me to, if I can take more than three, I need a five. Cause if anybody know me, I love five. So I'm a top five guy. I love retro five. So if I can slide two more in there. Go ahead, go ahead. What's your five you got to be buried with? In your, in your my case. five. Yes, okay, clearly, obviously, I, you know what I'm saying? Deliver my son in them. You know what I'm saying? The top three ones. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's number Sent one. Sentimental. One. That's number yeah. one. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, Obviously, number two. If anybody know me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a five guy. You going to show him? So you going to show one of your, another one of your It's a part of his five. top five that he brought to show us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Phil do what Phil want to do. Obviously, what my boy man say, you... Wear your, your, your shoes. No, your these mother. are worn. No Wear your style. shoes. They ain't going to stock eggs. They ain't going to gold either. Nigga, they going to my feet. Whatever. When I was in Chicago for All Star, they had the flex account going on. And for some reason, that whole week, my flex account was messed up. It wasn't acting right. But I knew Saturday, that whole week that I was out there, I knew I had to figure out how can I get these. And I couldn't even log into my phone. I had to call one of my homeboys. Shout out D-Long and Talton. I had to call both of them because they had the Android. You couldn't even log. If you had an Apple phone, you was dead. You was dead. You had to have an Android to log in. My boys logged into my account. I gave them my credentials. They were like, Phil, you won. Now, quiet. I boo-hoo cried, nigga. Like, what am I here for? This my shit. This my favorite retro. Anybody that know me, this my shit. I'm buried with, I'm getting married. When I get married and I jump the broom, I'm having a pair of fives on. Jump you hear me? Hey, that's two. That's two. <laughs> that's two. You know that's what I'm two. saying? But number three, we'll get number three right quick. Look, no, 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 This is your cousin. Yo, your five you want to be buried with. Your five you want to be buried with. That's your five I want to be buried with? with you? Yeah. My five, my five I want to be buried with. Clearly, this is going to be my five I want to be buried with. Fuck it. Fuck it. This Fuck clearly gonna be the final one. Let's run it. Fuck it, let's run it. Go ahead. My bad. My bad. Cut me off. Number three. Let's get into it. Hair ones, man. 
clearly like we don't know when the next time they dropping but i remember in 09 when i was about to go get ready to go to prom that's 09 and that's the other no nah, this 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 is this 2015 i ain't gonna flick this 2015 this 2015 pal but in 09 when i did have because i had to sell my house in college about 90 dollars you know what i'm saying that's what i'm saying it was 80. Yeah, oh, not me. Bro. I ain't gonna lie. So, dude. this is one of the only few means a nigga can wear. I'm doing these this. and I'm my Cinco's are the only two means in my collection. I'm doing this. Yeah, it, we, we real about this shit. I gotta get real about this shit. The Next. only means in my collection Harris and Cinco's. It's only a few means. No disrespect to Polka Dot. You know what I'm saying? But. Nah. It's only everybody, got some love. Everybody got their own drip. Everybody got their own flavor. It's, 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 it's they came out the same day as the pewters when they came it's out. Black and orange Halloween ones. So I fucked with you on that. They came out the same day as the pewters. Black and orange. They had the white one. They were like, 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 they were Niggas was getting beat up in that polo party. The and then they tried to go get these shoes the same night. Mm -hmm. Kid you not. Mm -hmm. Polo, get into this big like motherfucker right here. This is legit shit. Right here, right here. This is legit shit. Turn that motherfucker around right Drug here. Drug roll again. Niggas ain't, got, niggas ain't got that shit. One out of a hundred. One out of a hundred, man. One out of a hundred. A little hundred. Okay. How Kiki Shepard do it? He, uh, this, my, this is my black version of Kiki Shepard. You know what I'm saying? This is how we saw. 2020. We're going to put it up. 2020, man. This is not a game. Niggas do not have these. Even though my little cars fell out, we'll get into that. Bro, still got the candy in this bitch. Come on. I still got original candy in here, man. My oh boy, he has got the 5K on here. Because it's not a game. It's not like. Leave it for PS5. You, you not finna get these nowhere. You can't find these nowhere. And 5K get you in the game. You know what I'm saying? In the game. In the game. Because really you want to talk more than that. I already know. I, I, yeah, a little bit more, but just to be nice and fair. You know what I'm saying? A hundred pair made. You know, original lacing. You know what I'm saying? For both shoes. No shoe has been tried on at all. Both of the shoes are clearly on some flight club tip right now. They both wrap and get they get wrapped. They're ready to go. That's it. Ain't nobody finna be touching all on them. Ain't no fingerprints on them. Just know when you unpeel this. You got another unpeel because right under this, if you see this cookie box, that's what this shoe holds right up underneath this. If you take you some scissors or a razor to it, that's what it's gonna hold. It's gonna hold a cookie bag, a cookie underlayer right up underneath this. Right the concept there. for it was, yeah, for the concept, it was supposed to be they did a uh, obviously the white and blue that you're looking at on the canvas is supposed to be your outer layer. It's like supposed to symbolize the the wrapper, the, the wrapper of the twigs. And if you take your razor, I one know night, that, bro. And you peel this, I this box that, you see, it's all cookie. That's I know it looks to y'all a regular Cortez, as clearly as you can see, and I understand, you know, but, about that but <laughs> inside this shoe, you about that leg. it may look like a regular Cortez. Hey, but, your shoes, but, but yeah, what are your shoes for hey, sure? What are your shoes for sure? My but bro. my bro got these hoes with a signature on them, and he still wore them. That's for you. When I walked up That's to real. Mike Epps for the first time in my life, I remember I had my little Crooks and Castles outfit on. I had my Cortez on. No socks, powder on the feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga, I walked up on Mike Epps, and he was already in his mode of greeting everybody. You know, hey, how you doing? Getting a picture. But when I walked up on him, and he seen me, he clearly extended his hand. I turned around and hit him with one of these. He looked at my woman. Oh, this nigga funny. Oh, he funny. I said, nigga, you my uncle in a whole nother lifetime. Little do you know. Yeah. It was love ever since then, bro. Like I said, yeah. I got him. I, too. I, I got Maxo on here, but shout out Nip. Nip came. Rest shout out Nip. Brother, that's, that's... All money in. All money in. It's the marathon long continues. Long. It's and it's always gonna get I got Nipsey to sign these motherfuckers too. Yeah, I also have Houston's very own Maxo Cream on the, you know what I'm saying, on the back end. Yeah. Of course, my favorite grape out the bunch, PRE, J Fizzle. You know what I'm saying? And of course, while he was there, you know what I'm saying, the last thing that I got on here is South Walker. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So over here, man, like I said, that, I do want to grace my host, you know what I'm saying, with a toast. And I matched it too, for one. Oh. We ain't got to pop it, bro. Oh, 
Hey, it's we definitely gonna pop just this you know yes, just sir. to like you know celebrate life, man. Niggas out here just it's so it's so many. It's times. so much shit going on. Life is short, you man. Know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, DMX. But get get your yeah. people your your flowers while right they're here. here. Killing us out here, but yes, sir. My bad, hey. right? But you know it is. But, but we need to celebrate each other, man. I, I, if, if anything, shout out to my nigga show. Cam too. Shout out to Cam. Shout out to Shoes. Shout out to everybody that's ever been on the show. Show love. Appreciate each other. Like oh, do that up? shit. So, bro, it's gonna continue to uh, stay groovy. I want to appreciate stay true. Uh, my nigga Phil Belichick for coming through. Kicks got a crim. Go follow him. That's Kicks with a Z. K I C K Z. De La Crim. Mm -hmm. And after y'all follow him, <laughs> make sure y'all follow y'all know Soul Bros TV, uh, J Grid the Truth, your boy The Real Foul One. The and, real. and while you at it, follow Slow Motion uh, Streetwear too. Go mm -hmm. ahead and hand me that bag over there. We got some merch. Y'all a sneak peek. This is gonna be a sneak peek. Hey, hey, so. so. hey. hey. I got Soul. Got Soul the tag on my shoes. So well, you know, yeah. What you rock? Just love, just. So...